Good day, my name is Julia Boslady Kadikwa. I am the founder and CEO of Olive Entertainment Agency. Most people confuse mental health with um, any other type of sickness. It's a disease that we cannot see physically. Mental health is more our psychological, emotional and social well-being. I repeat, social well-being. I did experience mental health myself. I mean, from relationships to family to business. The good thing about being aware of what mental health is, it helps you determine how to handle stress, emotions, happiness, and be in control of your feelings and be present of every minute of how you feel. Lucky are those that were aware that they are going through mental health. There are those who don't even know they are going through mental health. They just feel some type of way. They are acting out of character. They start to confuse thinking, oh no, I think I need alcohol. I'm bored, I need to drink. I, my heart feels like drinking. And then they drink so much, which can lead into accidents, killing themselves. Because that is where the danger is. This is why today our society when someone commits suicide, they feel like it's probably drugs. It's probably alcohol. No. Some people are not aware that they are going through depression or they are having a mental breakdown. They start to think or feel, I need alcohol. I need drugs to escape the feeling they are having. And then tomorrow we read overdose. They drink too much. Then we even run away from the real actual problem that can help and save the next person. We start to say, mm -mm, I don't drink alcohol. I don't think I can ever be able to go through depression like them. We confuse the two, but that's not the case. These people, they thought alcohol was a solution. But if you are not in control of your emotions, it can be the worst case scenario for you. Because what happens the day you got so dependent on these drugs or this alcohol and then this pain comes, how do you then escape that feeling? So you need to learn to escape the feeling with yourself, within yourself. Self-control. Pray if you, if you can, whatever religious. Start to heal yourself from within, inside. Be spiritually connected with yourself. It helps a lot. Because I would have been broken down completely. Mind you, I'm going through depression. I'm sad. I'm heartbroken. I'm disappointed. A lot of emotions are going through me. I can't drink. I can't smoke. So what do I do? I start to meditate. It helps. Feel free to speak to someone you trust. It helps also a lot. Speak out and seek help. You can never do it by yourself. No one can do it by themselves. It helps. You need to break this with somebody you'll trust. That's why we have psych psychologists. That's why we have people you can speak to, counsel, sisters, brothers, anyone you trust. Do not lie to yourself. Be honest what it, with what exactly is bothering you. Do something you love and challenge yourself and beat yourself and tell yourself this will not break you. If you don't like something, change your mindset because it's all in the mind. Change your mindset. I've gone through it so much. Hatred, bully, everything. Everything I've been through. There's nothing I've not seen. But here I am today, still strong and smiling. How did I do it? Come through to the Speak Out, Seek Help event we are having in October. I'll be speaking on that day and I'll have more to share with you guys. I can't wait to see you there. Share it with a friend, invite friends, invite family, invite someone that you know they need help. We can't wait to see you and together we can beat depression and be stronger than mental health and it will never break us down.